creating a usd and exporting to unreal from maya i am using maya 2023 and unreal 5.1 for this demonstration when i tried with unreal 5 and maya 2022 i was getting some errors so it's better to use the latest version which i have which is maya 2023 and unreal 5.1 okay now a simple first i'll show you very simple setup of uh, how this will work so by default i will scale it up to 100 times to match with the unreal scaling freeze modify freeze and maybe you can rename this one as box test so this is there is no uh, material right now so I will just add a basic material I'm using Lambert and changing the color to blue so now i will export this as a usd to export as a usd first thing is in your settings the plugin manager check usd should be on this plugin export selection here you will see by default different things i am just resetting this one to show you the basics select usd export i am not changing anything so by default it is in subdivision method of uh, this one and i don't have any skeleton or skin cluster in this and there is no animation also so i am using the as this there is no blend shape or anything so just select and export here I am placing inside USD one folder so whenever you are exporting to USD it is like a centralized library like a server so just maintain one proper folder and proper folder structure for this so box test is the file name so now I will import this one into the Unreal to import USD inside Unreal, first you need to select the plugins and select this USD importer and you may need to restart it once you, once you import this one. After that go to Windows, Virtual Production, you can see under the live link there is a USD stage click on the USD stage to see the menu over here to open the file click file open now I'll go to USD one box test now you can see the USD straight away inside your unreal so if you want to change anything maybe if you want a color change okay and export it again export maybe I didn't select it selection box test here once you come back over here just reload you will see the updated one even though if you put if you if you change the position and from here I change again one more color export selection
you will see whatever the changes are done inside Maya will be updated but whatever the new changes you have done inside Unreal will remain same. This is the first thing. Now we will test with couple of textures so and multiple objects. So now I have this object so I will add one texture to it. I am keeping everything in the same folder so that it will be easier to understand. So I am using a, a simple texture which is something like this okay rock texture and I will create multiple objects over here maybe another cylinder everything I will scaling it into around like 100 because that's a scale size inside Unreal and I'll move it a little bit up assign a different material and add a texture to it I'll add one more model to it. Okay, I have this three different objects now. So if I select everything together, okay, export all, okay, the same settings and group. But here, when, when you import this way, when you add open you can see all these three together but it disappeared the previous one and you got all these three objects together okay if I want to animate one of the object and rest of them together